By using an old-fashioned stick to itiveness, a group of working moms created a niche business and tapped into the multi-billion dollar global label market, which is expected to reach, get this, more than $43 billion by the year 2020. Their unconventional struggle from startup to brand name on tonight's How I Made My Millions. Rise and shine. Time to get ready for school. To keep track of her kids' stuff. Let's go. Julie Cole puts their names on almost everything. Give me your water bottles, dudes. A formidable task for all six of them. It helps that she's a co-founder of the multi-million dollar company, Mabel's Labels, based in Ontario, Canada. A business idea born in the early 2000s when Cole, her sister, and another mom, frustrated that their toddlers kept losing things, couldn't find durable labels. We saw masking tape, we saw permanent marker, and we just kind of thought, you know what, there's got to be a better solution. So they reached out to Trisha Mumby, a friend who worked in printing. I thought, this is ridiculous. Tell your kids not to lose their stuff. Until you are in this parenting situation, you don't realize this is a problem. Even before she became a mom herself, Mumby agreed to help. And the four spent about two years researching how to make sticky labels. That would go through the dishwasher, the microwave, be UV resistant. And they did it while working full time and raising like families. Yeah. My partners were persistent about it. They really wanted to just try something on their own, really just as an add-on business. All they really needed was a workspace, some printing machines, and money. But... They decided against outside investors. We were 100% cool with being like, hey, can you do me a solid? You gotta help us out. We're, we're doing a startup, we're bootstrapping. We did a lot of bartering for things. Like our website was built in trade for a foosball table. And we ran a production facility out of my sister's dingy basement. <laughs> In 2003, Mabel's Labels launched online, selling packs of 45 durable, personalized labels for about $21 each. They received about 10 to 15 orders a day, and then out of the blue, hundreds at one time. So I called the foosball guy slash website developer and said, we have a virus, what is going on? And he looked and he said, there's no virus, those are orders. Turns out their product had been featured in an email newsletter and things really started to stick. I remember making myself count to five and then hitting F5 for refresh and more orders would come in. It was crazy. And we had to call in sick to our day jobs for days and days afterwards to make these labels. Within four years, this part-time business became a full-time job for all of them. They moved out of the basement and into this 14,000 square foot facility. And by 2016, Mabel's Labels had 40 employees and sales of about nine and a half million dollars Canadian. That's nearly seven and a quarter million U.S. bucks. It caught the attention of one of the largest specialty packaging and label companies in the world, CCL Industries, which made them an offer. They really understood our brand. They had been watching us for a long time. So we sold the company for 12 million. That's more than 9 million U.S. dollars. Cole has continued to run public relations while Mumby became general manager, but their two co-founders cashed out. Now the business pumps out hundreds to thousands of label packs a day, depending on the season, and it runs almost 24 seven. There's something really special about starting this and building it and selling it and knowing that you did it all without a single loan. I really do love to make labels. <laughs> Mabel's labels can be used on practically anything from sports gear and luggage to shoes and phone skins, and some even include barcode technology. In case you lose it, it needs to be tracked.